A lot of people, they start a fitness program with all the right intentions, and then life gets in the way, then they stop. Aww. It really comes down to convenience. Is the club near their home, near their office, or is it something they like doing? Before using Class Pass Agora Pass, it just seemed like my life was very predictable. Always doing yoga, always going to the gym. To be honest, most of us sign up because of the promotions, but also I definitely enjoy trying different classes with friends. You can tell that, oh, last week I tried Muay Thai, or last week I tried Pilates. I think what's actually really phenomenal about subscription is it takes the friction out of it for the customer. They want to feel like they're a part of something, they have all access, they have all the flexibility in the world, all the variety in the world. And the only way you can do it is if you have a layer on top of all the individual studios. The aggregator type model has taken a while for it to get into the fitness industry. ClassPass, Guava, they've tied up with boutique operators, more of a pay-as-you-go class activities, and also it comes with a discount. So that's great for the consumer, but on the big box gyms, the operators have spent a lot of money building the clubs. They are looking at it and sort of said, well, I don't want to cannibalize. I want to own my member's journey. If it can be set up as a win-win-win for the consumer, for the operator, and for the aggregator, well, then it will really add to the overall industry.